Welcome fellow gamer, I'm Dune Mountain and in today's video we are going to explore the heavy class in the finals. The finals is a game where different builds offer unique advantages. Among them, the heavy build stands out for its incredible power. As the heaviest and slowest build, it boasts an impressive amount of health points. Often referred as the tank class, the heavy build plays a crucial role in matches. It acts as a shield allowing other players to focus on objectives and opponents. In the two major game modes, Cash Out and Bank It, the heavy build's versatility becomes evident. Each mode demands a different playstyle, requiring customized builds that we are going to explore in this video. Not only that, but what weapons and gadgets you should unlock first to use in the different game modes. So prepare your scuba dive suit, because we are going to dive in the water. As a heavy player, your teammates rely on you to hold the front line, while they flank opponents and make a run for the object. Your high health points make you a formidable force on the battlefield. You must also be protected, rushing towards objectives to prevent opponents from stealing your fortune in this intense game. Keep in mind that the heavy build size is its advantage and disadvantage. By blocking the enemy shots aimed at your light and medium teammates, you ensure the health bars remain intact as they head towards the objectives. However, opponents will often target the heavy builds first due to his high health points, especially when it's out in the open. To enhance your heavy build, you have a variety of weapons, specializations and gadgets available for purchase using in-game currency called VRS. Regardless of your level, you can choose from different options. Starting off, your heavy build comes equipped with the M60 machine gun, sledgehammer and the charge and slam specialization. Additionally, you have a default gadget such as barricade, flashbangs, frag grenade, pyro grenade, goo grenade and RPG-7. So let's see the loadouts to unlock and best gear. Embrace the power of the heavy build and dominate the finals with your unstoppable presence on the battlefield. To optimize your heavy build in cash out mode, prioritize unlocking the mesh shield specialization and the Lewis gun as your initial purchases. These two items will provide you with effective defense and reliable firepower. On the other hand, the cool gun specialization doesn't offer much utility. So it's advisable to unlock the SA-1216 shotgun as your third item for the heavy build. Once you have obtained these items, focus on unlocking the dome shield and the C4 in the gadget section. These two gadgets will enhance your explosive and defensive playstyles, giving you the necessary tools for various situations. Afterwards, consider unlocking the flame troll, the good gun specialization, MGL-32, Explosive Mine, Gas Grenade and Pyro Mine in that order. However, keep in mind that you still have two more classes items to unlock. In terms of weapons, the Lewis Gun is your go-to choice for the primary gun slot. Its manageable recoil and solid damage makes it ideal for mid-range encounters, which are common in cash out mode. Although it has a smaller magazine capacity than the M60, its overall performance compensates for its drawbacks. Speaking of the M60, it can be a wise choice as your reserve gun. In cash out mode, you may find yourself in prolonged and intense battles, and having the M60 as an alternative can be advantageous. Cash out mode loadout. When it comes to the specialization slot, prioritize your selection based on the objective of the cash out game mode. Since the main goal is to collect and cash out the vault, the charge and slam specialization may not be as valuable. Instead, focus on the specialization that aligns with the objective and promotes close combat engagements. By following these recommendations, you can create the best heavy build for the cash out mode combining effective weapons and specialized equipment to dominate the game. The cash out game mode is the best suited for players who specialize in the mesh shield. The specialization adds a substantial 11,000 health points shield to the existing 350 health points of the heavy build. Not only can you use the mesh shield as cover while securing the vault with your team, 
but you can also utilize it while traversing the maps using the ziplines. It proves to be an effective defense against opponents in the open fields as well. Timing is crucial when using the mesh shield. Deploy it when your opponents attack and take advantage of their reload time to retaliate with your gun. When it comes to the gadgets, defensive options are the preferred in the cash out game mode. The dome shield is a must have gadget as it provides a protective barrier around the vault, allowing you to engage the position from within without taking any damage. The Goo Mine is another useful gadget that obscures the enemy's vision of you and the vault, forcing them to either waste their ammunition or explosives. For offensive capabilities, consider equip the RPG-7. It can easily clear your path to the enemy's territory and serve as a substitute for the charge and slam specialization in some extent. As for the reserve gadget, the barricade is a solid choice. Although it covers a small area compared to the Goo Grenade, it provides a strong defense and it's ideal for covering doorways. To complement your loadout, the flamethrower is recommended as your reserve gun, but be aware of its small magazine and it can potentially arm you. Its flames inflict damage over time, effectively dispersing enemies into the surrounding area. Overall, the heavy build with the mesh shield specialization, dome shield, cool grenade, RPG-7, barricade and flamethrower is the optimal choice for the cash out game mode. Best loadout for banquet mode. In the banquet game mode, the charge and slam is the perfect tool to swiftly grab all the cash and escape intense battles in an instant. With just one powerful strike, the charge and slam can demolish any obstacle in your path and incapacitate your foes. This specialization can also be employed to disrupt the opposing team's deposition. In the banquet game mode, the deposition process is faster compared to cashing the vaults in cash out. Taking advantage of the charge and slam can easily divert your enemy's attentions away from a deposition. Gadgets. Given the fast-paced and explosive nature of Bankit, there's no time to waste on obstructing the enemy's vision or holding them back. What you need are impactful explosions and swift eliminations. To achieve this, it is highly recommended to equip the RPG-7 as your primary gadget. This versatile weapon allows you to damage multiple enemies at once and can also be utilized while your charge and slam specialization recharges. As for your secondary gadget, the C4 is the ultimate explosive device. Similar to the RPG-7, it excels at delivering quick kills and destruction. While the deposition time in Bankit may not be lengthy, the dome shield can still prove useful. This gadget requires enemies to get up close and personal, granting you the advantage with the heavy build. Although, the focus is not solely on explosives, the intense nature of the game mode may attempt you to unleash full firepower upon your enemies. Therefore, consider selecting the frag grenade as your primary backup gadget. And this fellow gamer were the best loadouts for the heavy class in the finals. Please tell me in the comment section if I missed a better alternative for the loadouts in these game modes. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if so, please leave a like or a dislike that will help other players to find this video. And if you don't want to miss future content, please consider to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications of future content. And I will see you on my next video, but until then, have a nice day, good gaming, Toon Mountain out.